welcome back to our channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in with us while we clean this beautiful azimuth, 50 foot. Um, today I'm going to be washing and pressure washing, um, cleaning stuff inside while dad's in the engine room. Uh, tune in while we clean it. We'll go to the engine room. cover off now I'm gonna take the belt off and then we're gonna remove the rust out of all these pulleys what the issue was so there's a drain right here basically along the along the, all the edges it runs uh, rainwater and then runs in and drains through these ports right there right here and this thing is broken off so all the water is just leaking in here from the rain so that's why we need to needed to pump out the water so this needs to be fixed and reattached and then it runs out the back Okay, so we're hooking up our RV um, because RV has water, electricity, and where the boat is at, we have none of those. If you guys have seen, we had a little YouTube short of us fixing up a jet ski. It was like a quick little project. Um, we got the jet ski because it was a light, and we're going to be putting it on the back of the boat when we're done. The jet ski can put it right there. All the boys are filling it up.
right now we are taking off all the alternators and starters um, so we can take them for, to the company for rebuild. All right, what you got going on over there? Some bad starter with the rusty connectors. I can't get them off. I have to chop off the bolt. A grinder. And I'm still struggling over here with the turbo. I gotta. Starter finally out. Oh, it's it sits in the back, down below, on the other side. Um, so I got the starter out right here, and I'm gonna have to go home and buy another one because this one is kaput. This one is toast. I had to grind off the bolt because it was just I can't see it because it was just spinning through. I wasn't able to unscrew it. So I had to cut so the one turbo on the port side engine, I had to take it off um, because it spins kind of, I don't know, too tight. Um, this turbo on the starboard side uh, works really well. It spins nicely and freely. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. As you can see, I'm, it's very crowded in here. There's the generator, I have to crawl through, just barely fit in there. And then the other side is where the electrical is. And Kevin was um, cleaning that up right there. All right, see you guys soon. So along with the, one of the engines, uh, the starter, I had to cut off the little stud right there as well as it wouldn't unscrew so one starter I need to buy brand new and the other one I'll see if they can rebuild it depending on the price uh, one on eBay exactly like this is $400 uh, found one in the store um, 600 and uh, I will see how much it is to rebuild so we'll see what's worth it but I'm thinking maybe I'll get two new ones and rebuild one and leave one as a spare so Hey guys, thanks for watching till the end of the video. Like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Have a great day.